we are of course sad that we today had to ask for the to expel a member of uh, our organization which has been a member for over 25 years but i'm glad that we dared to do it We now come to the vote on the draft opinion and I inform the Assembly that a two-thirds majority is required. We will now proceed to vote on the draft opinion as amended. The vote in hemicycle and via remote voting is now open. The opinion is unanimously adopted. Thank you very much. Finally, after eight years and 20 days of war, we send a very firm message to soon-to-be former member state of this highly respected organization which is focusing on human rights to the Russian Federation that is, there is no place for such brutal state to be here. We are in an unimaginable situation with a war raging in the midst of Europe. The suffering is terrible and the needs are enormous. As an assembly, we have consistently supported dialogue, but the, this aggression is a point of no return. There is no room for an aggression in European home. Now, today's decision is not against the people of Russia. It is against the autocratic, kleptocratic, oppressive regime of Putin. United today, our decision will become a beacon for all fighters for strong democratic institutions around the world. A beacon for those who even today are bravely fighting for a different Russia and Belarus, one of freedom and human rights and of peaceful cooperation in a wider Europe of, of democratic values. It is clear, if you cross red lines, uh, then there is no place for you in this organization.